Hello, welcome back to Star Wars Republic. This is Kazoro, and since last time I've decided to come up and do this one first, so we can just move on down on our way out. I was just hiding up on that rock when I logged out, so that nothing would come and attack me, hopefully. But I am going to have to fight my way in. It's another freaking moving elevator. I am so done with these. You stopped in the middle, you stupid elevator. Just come up. And now go down. Alright. So we gotta destroy... Really? You stopped in the middle for no reason? Stupid elevator. Alright, let's see how high level I am. Nope. And that's how you handle lots of enemies. Parity one. Get Force Melt and Cauterize, and then spread it with Force Sweep. And then Priority 2, get enough uh, focus and use that Cyclone Slash a few times. Yeah, I'm telling you, this build here is way better designed for bosses and not for just... It's a little harder to level in this build. Um, better build for leveling is actually combat. Just, I've thought of it. I've tried it once before. I dabbled in it, really. And that, that was what I got from it. Excellent. They weren't quite close enough to use the Cyclone Slash, so I had to take them out one at a time. Alright, and this combat right here. Turn to the captain. So instead of that, I'm just going to go up and investigate Lord Neferid's hideout. And the uh, normal thing with this area, this portion of Alderaan, by the time you start heading west, um, in the big scheme of things, but yeah, by the time you start crossing this bridge and heading west in Declarius Valley. Um, you could hit your last uh, class quest, even though there are so there are a couple of quests, um, a couple of planet quests or side quests that take you all the way to Castle Pantier. It's all the way in the far west. Gosh, stupid elevator! Thank you for finally letting me out. Sounds like somebody else up here. Yep. Well, over there, they're taking out those enemies there so that I can drop down here 
feel like I made it down without taking fall damage. That was quite lucky, actually. Oh, those guys on the thing almost saw me. That was close. Alright, now I have to go in there. I could have sworn there was a bonus mission around here somewhere. Huh, oh well. I do my best to spread this to both of them. Oh my gosh. I think I got it spread. That stupid droid had some knockback on him. Okay. Lord Neferid's compound. What's in there? Nobody of consequence. Especially since it's a bonus to kill people, I can skip as many people as I can. Oh my gosh. He when they do that. He being knocked around like that. Looks like somebody gave me the other two. Sweet. Critical increase and endurance increase. Alright, I had to make my way out of the left side of this room. Sounds like a plan. This should be where he is. Hello, anybody home? You truly are a stubborn one. Won't be satisfied until you've completely inconvenienced me, will you? Come out from the shadows and face justice. My master is transmitting the most amusing hollow message right now. You really should watch it with me. Assaulting my cruiser alone. Very careless of you, Augustine. It's not too late, Andro. Do the right thing for once. Surrender. Pity you didn't bring your student. I could kill you both. Free Jedi. Are you afraid to die? There is no death. There is only the Force. No. If there is no death, Don't kill him. Where is my son? Ah. Oh. oh, that's it. I'll finish you. After all, you can't fight what you can't see. The Force will guide me. You want to stay? Let's be done with this. I have a long list of people to kill. Oh, I almost forgot. The Deathmark laser is finally back online. And it's tracking you. Ooh, fun. boss fight that actually has some uh, really you're up there alright he was up there and C2 shot a bunch of his damage down that made it less fun Gotta take out the thing now. Dang it. Quit knocking me around. Yeah. 
Those guys died quickly. Lots more things. That big strong hits. What'd you drop for me? Ooh, decorations. Hooray. I don't think anybody else will come. Let's pull out t out and see if I can get a few points for him. Get him all the way up to 10. Sweet, it destroyed itself. <laughs> been destroyed. Your people are safe. I will inform Organa Palace immediately. We are forever in your debt. Duke Thul sent us the spy Elena as a show of good faith. She is to stand trial for her crimes. Her testimony will expose the Empire for what it is. No house will ally with them after this. Darth Angrel captured and murdered my Jedi Master. My sympathies. Master Orga seemed like a great man. Rest assured, I won't let your master's sacrifice be in vain. Be well, Jedi. T7 Jedi returned to ship. General Varsuthra needs to know about Master Orgus. Yep, we should return to the ship. Right after we finish saving Alderaan from its civil wars. Or at least helping out a little more. There we go. Alright, we got a couple quests right here to turn in. And then we can move on. Hooray. And you over there. I also want T7 out for this. Get him a few points. Alright, Captain Barra. Welcome back. All transmissions from the tower stopped. You must have found House Thule's intel. The Empire would have wiped us out if you hadn't come along. We owe you our lives. Thanks. Alright, more influence for T7, but not enough to level him up. Alright, so now I need to head down that way. Something tells me this isn't the normal. Really? Okay, I'm stuck. Okay. Let's go the regular way then. What's the regular way down from here? Yes, this is it. I think. And this should double back over that direction. Yep. Pretty sure this is the right way. We'll find out soon enough. Sorry, I'm just trying to sidle my way over to the edge here. Is that a world boss? That is a world boss. I've come back as high levels before and tried to take down world bosses. They take a long time, even when you're way over leveled. They just have loads and loads of health. from this camp. Let's see if I can't sneak around the edge here. Awesome. Now we gotta head over to these other couple of camps. 
Yeah, I'm a map watcher. If you haven't noticed, in these one and a half series that I've uploaded so far, I watch maps all the time while I'm running around. Right, there's a crystal. Uh, the only new thing is this blue stuff. Look, there's something else over here. Another blue crystal. Okay. I'll take it. And... You want to head up there. Oh, there's a Therenta right there. And it's only defenses. Ooh, that's purple. Oh, we got a cultural artifact. Yeah, your ship droids really love those things. I'll take his influence up. His whole level is up to four. Yowza. Uh, influence does affect the amount of presence that's active when they're summoned. And the presence improves their combat effectiveness. So you do want to level them up so that they're more effective in combat. Alright. All done there. Let's just take out these Sith Among Ruins first and then we'll head back. And see what else we can do to help the Organas win the war. Not before getting some green crystals, so I've already picked some up. Okay, so there's a Ravager here. Oh yeah, as I remember this mission takes a while to complete. There's a bonus in here that involves beating up the ritualists, but all you really need is the commanders for the mission. Hey. I'm the one doing lots of damage to you. Neener, neener, neener. You can't get off your death field. Alright, let's keep going deeper. To find three more commanders. They're always alone. They're the big guys that are always alone. Not the guys in robes that are always alone. Just keep looking at me. Don't don't look at my friend over there. There we go. There's two. Looks like a lot to take out this group of people on the way through. Stop it. I'll take that. Thank you very much. And then I'll spread the love. Alright. I need a couple more commanders. There's one over there. I can sneak past this excavator droid. Yeah, 
this. I love the fact that Force Melt builds up your focus now. That was a good move. That makes me want to use it a lot, which I think was their plan. Okay, and over here. Use that, that, I'll spread the love. And knock this guy out. One more commander. Then I can run back to base. My gosh. It's like never any commanders when I... Oh, hello. Two Ravagers. Oh my goodness. Share the love. There's plenty of commanders in this room if you haven't found any all the way back. There's several. There's like three or four back here. And there's a named NPC, too. Named enemy. Okay, I think there's a slash off. Jerk. Head back to camp there. Turn in a few missions and continue helping with everybody who needs help on this planet. I'm thinking next video will have the end of the planet. And this video is just going to have getting closer. Alright, T7, A, get out of here T7, thank you for taking on those spike teams, I think that's the last of them, there aren't many who'd take on such a dangerous mission on short notice, the Republic owes you, but not half as much as Al Spentier. Has Boris Olgo called off his attack? The attack is off, for now. But no one on Alderaan is safe while Boris Olgo holds the throne. I've received word from Kate Pantier, the heir to the house. She'd like to meet with you. House Pantier's current location is well guarded and not common knowledge. But the brass is granting you temporary clearance to visit. Is this just a friendly thank you, or is she looking for something more? I think she hopes you're the hero Alderaan's been waiting for to get that traitor Olgo off the throne. The Pantiers owe us, you, their lives now. It's crucial this goodwill lasts long enough to get the Republic government on the throne. Still sucking up, even after they turn their backs on the Republic in its darkest hour. Politicians are like planets. They orbit around whatever glows the brightest. But that's the game here. We don't learn to win it, the Empire will. Thank you for your service. Oh, look, it's a mission to pick up on the way to the next quest hub. Yeah, there's one more quest hub coming up. Did you lose your master or something? Hey, I'm here on my master's orders. She said we could get help. Name C6M8. Look, I ain't got much time, so I gotta know. You interested in helping me out or what? Tell me the whole story. And more slowly this time. I worked for Mechanic in one of the House Madonna outposts. Ogo saboteurs snuck in, planted explosives on the primary transport ship. That ship tries to take off, but we got pieces of the crew scattered all over the countryside. Just tell me how I can be of service. The only safe way to disarm the bombs is to get the deactivation codes from Ogo's war camps. Only they ain't handing the codes over just because we asked. It's gonna get messy. That's where you come in. Facing danger is what I do best. I'll handle it. Get the codes from the Ogo camps and bring them to the house we're gonna outpost. 
give them to Celia Antares. Can't miss her. Prettiest gal around. And I wasn't just programmed to say so. Alright. So we gotta pick up a bunch of bomb defusal codes in a camp. Okay, um, let's see, ba -ba -ba. running out of things to talk about. Oh, yeah, today, since it's uh, getting closer and closer to Halloween, um, today, I was carving pumpkins with the kids. And you know, those little tiny knives, and then trying to do precision cutting, because we had some patterns that we overlaid on top of the uh, pumpkins. You get the paper wet, and you lay it on the pumpkin and then you cover it in some saran wrap to help hold it in place while you uh, cut it out. So I was doing that whole thing and with the little tiny you know cheapo knives you can get at Walmart dang my hand was cramping up so bad I but hmm, I guess the, a better tool would have been a tool with a much larger handle but still the small knife, because a small knife was essential to uh, to getting all that precision cutting in, but I needed a bigger handle. My hand was cramping up. Oh, uh, somewhere there. There it is. We're going to go test out our hypothesis. This will be the first... Um, this will be the first Datacron that we've gotten that matched uh, a Datacron that we got on another character from before the 4.0 upgrade. So we're going to have a look and see if we can get the Datacron or if it's already claimed like it says in here. This should be the presence Datacron on Alderaan. So it's this one. We got it with Kazthor. So if we come over here and get it, what's it going to say? No longer able to access the Datacron. Okay. So we don't have to get any Datacrons that we've already gotten with Kazthor. Well, we don't have to get any... Ooh. Glitch through the uh, rocks there. We don't have to get any of the stat boosting datacrons. Um, we may have to, or not have to, we may get the shard datacrons still. But we don't have to direct ourselves to any more of the stat boosting datacrons. So long as we've gotten them on any character in our whole legacy. Which means uh, we need to, when we get to Balmora on the Republic side, we need to do that. We need to do the fleet one. There's two more on Ilum still. And then Makeb and Rishi when we get to those planets. But those are higher level planets that I have not gone to yet. The fleet one's going to be a tough one. If I had a group of six people with me it'd still take a full episode just to get it and there's actually a couple more datacrons the Rishi datacrons are all clustered together but you have to do several things to really get all the datacrons on Rishi and at least one of the Makeb datacrons is a nice long one to get it's probably a full episode and that's a full episode after, you know, I stop recording after every failed attempt. It's going to take me a full episode on a successful run. Oh my gosh. I hate these freaking rocket boots. They're great while you're in an area where you can't use your mount. 
But when you're outside in an area where you can use mounts, I kind of want a regular mount. There should be a toggle switch somewhere in the settings that toggles whether the random mount can pick from your rocket boots or not. Rocket boost. I'd like to see that. And that's such a small addition. I'd hope some Bioware developer is listening to my plea. Okay, what time is it? It's about the end of the episode, so next time I will infiltrate this Olgo camp. 44 already. You sh Normally I'm heading to Voss when I'm level 44. Gosh, dang it. Quit giving me so many levels. Okay, so now, once I have burning targets, if I do a direct damage attack, so that does not include force melt, because all it does is burn damage, but anything that does regular damage, and if the target's already burning, it builds focus. Can't happen more than once every three seconds. And Merciless Slash puts a debuff called Assailable for 45 seconds, and they take more elemental and internal damage, which is my burns. My burns are elemental, I believe. What's internal? Oh, internal would be uh, the... Imperial equivalent. Okay, but anyway, we're going to back up here to where they can't see us. And next time we'll infiltrate the camp and then take our findings over to this quest hub here. Notice the convenient quick travel point, med droid, and taxi cab point. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.